Now in this video, I'm going to look at how to add a sink opening onto this kitchen counter. Now I'm using the kitchen counter family file which I previously created in the other video. If you want to look at the previous video, I will provide a link below in the comment area so you can access this video. Now to add the sink opening onto this uh, family, we're going to need a number of parameters to control the geometry and the shape of this sink opening. We're going to need a uh, parameter for controlling the opening width, depth, and also the radius uh, corner of the sink opening. Now let's open up the family type dollar box to add these parameters to our family file. So we're going to click in here to open up the family type dollar box. And we're going to click on the create new parameters. And we're going to make this a type parameter. So this is going to be a sink opening with select OK and I'm going to make this uh, put this at the bottom here and create another one it's going to be sync opening depth it's going to be a type parameters select OK Remove it down and I'm going to create another one radius corner opening select OK. Okay, and we probably need another parameter to locate where this open is going to be. So I'm going to create another parameter. Uh, sync. Center. Offset. It's going to be instant parameters. So we can move this uh, to any position we want on the counter. And we probably need another one for the front edge offset. It's going to be a type. Select OK. So we're going to move it down so they all stay together, group together. Okay, so we sync opening depth, sync opening radius corner, so move this down a little bit. Depth, width, corner, set offset, front edge offset. So we have all the parameters we need for creating this uh, sync opening. Now I'm going to set the sync opening depth to be approximately uh, 450 millimeter. And the sink opening width to be 785 millimeter. And an open radius corner is going to be about half an inch, so I'm going to use 13 millimeter. Uh, sink opening front edge offset is going to be two and a half inch, which is roughly about 65 millimeter. And sink opening offset, I'm just going to make this into like about uh, let's say this is uh, 6, uh, maybe uh, 1200 millimeter, 4 feet. Okay. Now we're going to toggle to our plan view and set up the reference plane and add the parameter for controlling the sink opening. Now the counter right now by default is only 1220, so we may need to make it a little bit longer. 
So I'm going to go to the family type out box and make this counter. Let's say this is a three meters counter. Apply. Okay. First, I'm going to create reference plane to locate the center line of the sink opening. So from create, I'm going to select reference plane. Just going to draw a reference plane down here vertically and I'm going to do a dimension I type DI from my keyboard dimension from the edge of the counter to this reference plane and make this let's just say this is uh, 1220 okay I click on this uh, dimension and down here I'm going to click on the drop down associate this dimension with sync opening center offset so 1200 okay so let's just try to make sure that this is working properly so i'm going to open up the family type dollar box and just change this value let's just say it's not 1200 say it's 900 apply it's moving so let's do this 1100 apply so it seems to be moving correctly so i'm just going to leave it as that for now and now I'm going to draw two more reference plane vertically. I type RP from my keyboard. And I'm just going to mirror this reference plane on this center line. Just going to pull this down a little bit here. I'm going to do a dimension from here to here to here. To these reference planes and set to be equal and do another dimension below it and I'm going to select this dimension now the other thing is once I finish dimensioning I have to hit modify or hit escape to finish this command then I can select the dimension and then click on a drop down here to associate this with sync opening width Now I'm going to create a uh, two horizontal reference plane. RP for my keyboard. Just going to copy this up. I'm going to do a dimension from the front edge here. Now try not to uh, continue the dimension by clicking on this because when you associate dimension with parameter, it needs to be a single dimension, not a string of dimension. So I'm going to click on this again, dimensioning. No, not, I don't want to lock this. Click on this and here, pull this out. Now I'm going to associate this dimension with the front edge offset. Oops. Cancel. I'm just going to click in here and change this to 65 and I'm going to associate this with the sink opening depth now we're going to switch to the other uh, counter type the 635 millimeter counter type and we're going to enter the same value for controlling the sink opening so opening depth is going to be 450 sink opening width is going to be 785 and opening radius is going to be 13 millimeter and the sink opening offset is going to be 1220 and front edge offset is going to be 65. Let's apply this and see what happened. You can see that the counter become more shallow and the sink opening offset is 1220. Now let's make the sink opening to be 1500 to be at the center of the counter by default for both type. So sink set offset, the default setting is 1500 1.5 meters so change this to 900 millimeter type and change this to 1500 as well apply 
So by default, when you place the counter, the sink opening is in the middle. Now we're going to put the opening in the counter and once we have the parameter all set up and the reference plane all set up and controlled by the parameters and we can make the opening either by changing extrusion profile because we extrude the profile from the top we can just add another sketch line in the middle to create the opening so that's probably the simplest way to do this now i highlight the extruded countertop i'm going to click on modify and select add extrusion now i'm going to use the rectangular sketch tools and sketch a rectangle in here from the upper left corner to the lower right corner of these uh, intersection reference plane i'm going to click on the lock symbol to lock these uh, sketch line to the reference plane so make sure you sketch you click on a four padlock because there's four edges so now we lock all these edges to the reference plane now i'm going to zoom in here i'm going to go back to the sketch line command and select fillet arc i'm going to click in here do a fillet do another one here do another one here so fill it all four corner I'm going to click on these. You see when you have the dimension in here, there's this icon here with dimension mark. I can make these temporary dimension into uh, actual dimension. So I'm going to click on this one and then highlight the dimension and associate this with the parameter. So uh, this is going to be the radius, opening radius corner, 30 millimeter. Okay, now I'm going to change the uh, view scale to be 1 to 2 to make the dimension a little bit smaller, maybe 1 to 5. Okay, so we can see this. And I'm going to use the annotate using a dimension tool here to dimension all four corner. There are different value right now, but it doesn't matter. So I just need to hit escape a couple times to get out this dimensional command. I'm going to highlight one of these dimension, uh, hold down the control, select the other two, and then associate it with the radius corner, opening radius corner. So now let's try to see what, what happens if I change the radius corner, see if it's working. So let's say if I want it to be one inch, 25 millimeter applied. Uh, it seems to be behaving. So I'm going to change it back to 13 millimeter, apply, select OK. And if I select the green check mark to finish editing this extrusion, you can see that I have this sink opening created. Now, if we toggle to the 3D mode, so we can see the sink opening very clearly. If we toggle to the thin line mode, you can see that that's our sink opening. Now let's test to see if the sink opening move with our uh, parameter. So if we click in here and change the center offset, sink opening center offset, let's say this is only one meters offset, not 1.5. Apply. And see that the opening is behaving properly. So if we change this to a different counter type and change this to be 1100, apply you can see that it is working properly now this is a general process uh, how you can actually add additional features such as a sink opening to the rabbit countertop family now if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you for watching